Hello everybody, welcome back to DD65. DD65 will be about a very famous American story. Maybe you have read it. But before we do that, we need to go back to DD64, which was from a situation comedy called The King of Queens. It's about a delicious red condiment. Do the dictation. Douglas, would you please pass the catsup? The what? The catsup. <laughs> you mean the ketchup? Educated people pronounce it catsup. <laughs> How do they want me to pass it to them? Okay, if you watched last lesson, I did give you a hint as to this word and this word. Those are the key words. It's the same thing. It's a condiment. A condiment is usually a sauce that we add to flavor our food, like mustard or salsa or even vinegar. Salt and pepper are considered condiments too. In Korea, they have some delicious condiments called gochujang and samjang. Oh, are you familiar with that? Well, right, here's a picture. This is gochujang. Woohoohoo! Very spicy. And this is samjang. Oh, so delicious. Anyway, we're talking about ketchup. The first line, this is uh, the father-in-law. He says, Douglas, would you please pass the catsup? The what? The catsup. You mean the ketchup? Educated people pronounce it catsup. Not if they want me to pass it to them. It's funny. Believe it or not, it is funny. Because I agree. Now, Douglas, the name actually is Doug, but the full name would be Douglas. That's like Mike. But the full name of Mike is Michael. Uh, what else? Rob. The full name would be Robert. What about the name Dick? Believe it or not, the full name would be Richard. Yes. So a lot of times we have short versions of names and long versions of names. So Douglas, if we say it short, Doug. Douglas, would you please, would you please, almost always we have this J sound. So would you, would you, no, would you, would you please pass the Pasta, and the faster we say that, the TH is going to be gone. Pasta. Would you please pass the? Would you please pass the? And the father in law says, cat's up. Cat, as in cat, meow, and sup. Cat's up. Cat's up. But Doug doesn't understand. The what? The cat's up. Ah, oh, you mean the ketchup? And grammatically we should say, do you mean the ketchup? And if we say it really fast, this N cancels it out, we get a na. Mean the, do you mean the, do you mean the ketchup? Do you mean the ketchup? Ketchup. And the father-in-law says, <laughs> educated people pronounce it Katza. Educated people. Educated people. People with an education. People who are intelligent pronounce the word it katsa. Educated people pronounce the condiment katsa, not ketchup. That's the idea. So, in other words, I am educated and you are not. You are uneducated. You are stupid.
that's not very nice. And it's not true. My father and I used to tease each other with catsup and ketchup. But the pronunciation, 99, 98, well, 97.6% of the time is ketchup. So when you see this word, you can still say ketchup. Educated people pronounce it catsup? That's not true. So finally, Doug says, not if they want me to pass it to them. And this was quick. Not if they, not if, we got to connect this out, not if they, not if they. Who is they? Who is they? Educated people. Not if they want me, want me, the N, the M, cancel out the T. Want me? No. Want me, want me, not if they want me to, want me to. We don't say to, we say D. I'm writing in Korean, sorry. Uh, it's a D sound, D. Me to, me to. Not if they want me to write it. Not, oops, pass it. Not if they want me to pass it, pass it to them. Pass it to them. So here we had a d sound, but here we'll have a t sound. So both are common. Actually, the word to has seven different sounds. We can say da, ta, da, ta, d, t, and two. They're all possible, okay? There's a many different possible sounds. Most Americans will say meta with a D sound and pass it to, because there's two T's and we keep the T sound. Pass it to them. Pass it to them. Want me to, want me to, pass it to them. And let's look at this word, them. The word is them, but them actually has three pronunciations. So I'll write over here. We can say perfectly them. We can say it short. Them. Them. It's actually a schwa sound. Uh. Them. 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 And many times we simply say um. Um. So to them if we get rid of the th, if we do this sound, to them, to them, to them, to them, to them, to them. Once again, t, pass it to them, pass it to them, pass it to them, pass it to them. Okay, so this last sentence is difficult. Let's practice again. You repeat after me, okay? Douglas. Would you please pass the ketchup? The what? The ketchup. You mean the ketchup? Educated people pronounce it ketchup. Not if they want me to pass it to them. Not if they want me to pass it to them. What does this mean? If educated people want me to pass ketchup to them, then they do not say ketchup, they say ketchup. In other words, I will not pass you ketchup, I will only pass you ketchup, because I'm dumb. That's the idea. It's actually pretty funny. Did you watch the full clip? Yeah, make sure you do that. Watch the full clip and it, hopefully you'll enjoy the humor. Listen two more times. Master the pronunciation. There are many pronunciation rules here. So I should concentrate more on sitcoms. Then you learn the very natural American pronunciation. Would you like that? Would you like more situation comedies? Yeah? Okay. Maybe I will in the future. Anyway, listen again and practice. Try and say it with the characters. And don't forget body language, expressions, and the tone of your voice, the accent, what are, what, which words are important. Okay? Good luck. Douglas, would you please pass the catsup? The what? The catsup. <laughs> You 
You mean the ketchup? <laughs> Educated people pronounce it catsup. How do they want me to pass it to them? Douglas, will you please pass the catsup? The what? The catsup. <laughs> you mean the ketchup? Educated people pronounce it catsup. <laughs> How do they want me to pass it to them? Okay, DD65 is about a very famous American novel. Many people believe it's America's most famous novel. It is the true beginning of American literature. Many people believe that. The author of the book was Samuel Clemens. However, Samuel Clemens changed his name for the book and for other books. He uses a different name which he's more famous for. He has many famous books including Tom Sawyer. Samuel Clemens had a very interesting uh, life and uh, I hope that you learn a little bit about him. When I was a young boy, I read his books and I loved them. And maybe you have read them too. If you haven't, I recommend you read them. Good luck with the dictation. At the end, I'll say hello to our new user. February 18th, 1885. Mark Twain's The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, one of the great American novels, is first published in the United States. February 18th, 1885. Mark Twain's The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, one of the great American novels, is first published in the United States. February 18th, 1885. Mark Twain's The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, one of the great American novels, is first published in the United States. February 18th, 1885. Mark Twain's The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, one of the great American novels, is first published in the United States. Okay, we have just one new user for uh, in the last two days, and this person is from Vietnam, Luck17291. Yes, Luck17291. Thank you very much for joining my channel. And once again, I ask you all, tell your friends about the channel, and let's make it bigger and better. Have a great day, and I'll see you in a couple days. Bye-bye.